Welcome back to Wedding Empires podcast. I'm your host, Jack Bowie, owner of The Wedding Academy. And with me today, I have a very special guest who's going to talk to us about a CMS, a website builder that not all of us know about. The ones that do know about it love it and swear by it, but I believe that there's so many wedding professionals out there that don't know about this platform and need to know about this platform. So I thought I'd bring in one of the experts, Laurel Vines. How are you today? Hi, Jack. I'm so good. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. You're welcome. Now, of course, the the, uh, the website platform that we're talking about today is called Show It. Now, can you, Laurel, explain for everybody who doesn't know what Show It is, uh, what the platform is and why it's different? Yes. Uh, so Show It is a website builder and it's very, it was actually built with photographers in mind uh, years ago. Today, all kinds of creative professionals are using it, um, but it was actually originally designed for photographers who are looking for a user-friendly website platform. Um, it, in the back end, it actually might remind you a little bit of Photoshop. Uh, the way it's laid out, um, but it's completely drag and drop. So the design capabilities are pretty much limitless. No coding is required. Um, you can code some of it if you want to, or if you have that ability, but none is required. It's um, pretty much endless possibilities in terms of design. Uh, it's also very SEO friendly, and it actually integrates with WordPress for your blog. So you still get those really strong SEO capabilities that come with WordPress, um, but this, these great, really easy to use design functions. Great, so we'll, we'll come back to how it kind of works with your existing WordPress, because I think that's really interesting and really important. Um, what struck me that was really different with Show It was the builder. It truly is like drag and drop, build what you want, right? It, it's, it's incredible when you come from something like WordPress, where you're really, you are limited with the capabilities of the platform. Yeah, you can upload Elementor and, and different builders and whatnot, but with Show It, you literally have this blank piece of paper almost and you can, you know, drag your picture how big you want. You can, if you want to embed something, you just pop a little embed square and you just like drop it where you want it. That is incredible, right? How much do you love that? Oh, yes. I absolutely love it. As a designer, it's a dream come true because you don't have any strange blocks like you do in Squarespace or you don't have like the intense code or like limiting things that happen with WordPress unless you can custom code everything. So it's it's a dream come true. <laughs> love it. Yeah, definitely. And yeah. of course, like all the other builders, you can upload your brand and your, your, your fonts. Mm -hmm. I know that you've got to make some changes to the fonts. You've got to make them What's the file type you've got to change your font to? Do you remember? It's a uh, WOF file, W-O-F-O-F-F. -F. <laughs> That's right. So once yeah. once you've got your, your font files, uh, you, you can just simply Google how to do it, but you basically need to just simply convert it. There's converters online. Change your font mm -hmm. to a W-O-F-F -F file type, and you can upload that to show it and have your, your font absolutely everywhere. All right, so going back to your background, Laurel, uh, what inspired you to establish your business, which is called Vineyard, I love that, Vineyard Creative Co.? Yes, so I dabbled in design all throughout, like while I was in school, growing up. Um, I started a freelance design business, I think I was about 15 <laughs> when I first started my my business. Um, and then I eventually ended up going into dental assisting and I did that for quite a few years because I just didn't think that I could make the freelance lifestyle work for me. I thought I wanted the security of just having a regular nine to five job. Um, and it wasn't actually till 2020, my husband and I, full-time RV'd for a couple years and we, uh, while we were doing that, I got back into freelancing and it was just a creative outlet uh, as well as a part-time income for me at first. Um, and then I just fell back, uh, totally back in love with design. And um, that's also when I discovered Show It, built my first, my own website on Show It. Um, and I've just been loving it ever since. <laughs> Great. And, and I know that um, just from researching your business and what you do, yes, you do a lot of design for show it, but you're also big on brand identity, which, you know, the combo of those two things together is super important, obviously, for wedding professionals. So I guess um, let's talk about sort of how, how you recommend crafting a, a unique brand identity for your wedding business. 
Yeah. So whenever someone comes to me for branding, uh, I really start first with their values, like what makes you unique? Uh, what kind of experience you, do you provide? Um, one thing with just thinking about your branding and your marketing in general is your brand uh, should be a reflection of you and it should be authentic to you, um, but should also be about your ideal client and what kind of experience you're giving them, you know, who they are. So making sure that your brand isn't just about you, it's also about your ideal client yeah amazing okay cool and what role do you think does um storytelling play when it comes to effective branding for wedding businesses that's a great question so if you've i don't know if you've read uh building a story brand by donald miller um but that's a favorite book um but his approach is essentially that anyone that comes to you um your ideal client, uh, they are the hero in the story and you are the, their guide. So when in any piece of marketing, you're always making your potential client the hero of the story um, and you're just the guide that takes them from where they are to where they want to be. Um, and that absolutely is can be infused in your branding as well. So I really like to use the what they're called brand archetypes. So if you search these online, um, mm -hmm. you'll find them. And it's actually, uh, they can, you can find up to 36, I believe, but they're, um, they're separated into like four categories and actually brought them up here. Um, <laughs> so that I could, and then it's, um, explore spirituality, leave legacy, provide structure and pursue connection. Um, and so each of those four archetypes is then like split into even more niched um, sort of value systems. Um, and so uh, that's kind of the, the framework that I use for branding and it's basically what, who you are and how you're, what kind of experience you're providing for your clients. I love that. I love that. Okay. And, and that'll help people drag it out for themselves, right? Because I'm sure the majority of people will come to you with branding and go, I like this and I like that, but like they haven't in their own mind found a way to, you know, bring it all together or make it a, make it really authentic to them. So I'm sure that's a really great tool to help them achieve that, right? Yes. Yeah. A lot of times people are surprised because they might know, oh, I like this color or that thing, but they've never explored the reasoning behind it or what kind of feelings they want someone to feel when they see their branding. You know, is it more, is it like a passion? Is it excitement? Or is it more of like a calm and reassuring feeling? So that's what we dive into a lot too, is like what kind of feelings do you want to portray uh, and what kind of client do you really want to attract? So how can wedding professionals optimize their website to attract and retain clients? Yeah. So I think with attraction, it's really going to be about SEO is a, is a big part of attraction. So, and I know you had a couple questions about that, but uh, with SEO, it's, you know, using the kinds of phrases that your ideal client would be searching for, um, you know, kind of getting in their brain using keyword tools. I really love uh, Uber Suggest for this. Um, so doing some keyword re research, optimizing your website, uh, you know, blogging. So answering questions that couples might be asking surrounding um, certain types of venues, certain types of weddings um, is going to be a key attraction, uh, for, like basically providing good content. Uh, and then retention is like when someone lands on your website, just making sure they have a good user experience. Is it loading quickly? Is it very clear what the next step is that they should take? Is it easy to contact you? Uh, that's a big one I see a lot of times you have to scroll so many different places to find out how to con get in touch with you. And that should be really, really simple. Just talking about that, I, I know show it is a little bit different because you're kind of building your navigation from scratch unless, of course, you buy a template and it's all in place. But have you got any tips when it comes to show it about building a user-friendly website navigation experience? Yeah, well, I think uh, the first one would be to just keep it really simple, um, you know, making sure that you're not adding way too many options up there, um, making sure that on mobile you have your own mobile menu, which can be a, it's a little bit tricky on show it. You do have to like hide that on your desktop and then display it on mobile with a little hamburger icon. Um, but yeah, making sure that your top navigation is really simple. And then I like to use the footer navigation for those more things like maybe if you have a newsletter opt-in and you have like other pages besides just your 
home about services contact use the footer as a place for those and to include your social links and things like that yeah and i, I think just thinking about the main things that we want people to do but down the bottom if they want to dive deeper so it could have as you said um you know the the social links and whatnot but also that could that could be where your employment page is where your privacy policy is those things that you know people that really want to dive deeper can 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 find but they're not necessarily used all the time um and and talking about mobile responsiveness of course that's everything these days and one thing i think it's important to to point out with show it is you're building your website side by side and you can flick between this beautiful drag and drop builder for your desktop to your mobile version as well. So you can see both at the same time or you can switch and sort of work on each, uh, which is quite incredible, isn't it? I, I, I just found that so easy to use. Yes, it's so unique. There's really no other builder that allows you to do that, to design completely differently for mobile. And over, it's about 60% now of users on average uh, are on mobile. So if anything, we want to prioritize that even more than the desktop experience. So what I love yeah. about Showit is you can hide elements if they're not fitting, you know, or if there's a slowing down mobile, you can just take them off of mobile, but still have them on desktop and vice versa, you know, completely rearrange things so they just fit well and they are easier to read on mobile. You know, we want to make sure things are sized well correctly for mobile so you can change the font size whatever you need to do it's amazing yeah yeah and and you know as you're building it you can actually see it it's just like a perfect demo on your phone so you can truly see when you're turning something off or turning something on or increasing the font you can see it in front of you what that's actually going to look like so it's incredible um all right um I'd like to know, we touched on SEO, but like, do you have any advice specifically for wedding professionals looking to enhance their SEO efforts? Yes. So I would say blogging is the biggest one. And I think this is a really one that's the hardest a lot of times for wedding professionals to keep up with, or they get intimidated by it. Um, and it's really going to be, I think, you know, something, it's going to be a long-term strategy, but I really like for people to think about it as their core uh, marketing and content strategy, and then they can just use that to repurpose on other channels. So your social media channels, your email marketing, you know, blogging is just so valuable for that. And it's not like social media where you have to, uh, maintain a specific consistency to continue to gain traction, you know, as long as you can, you know, continually put up content, it doesn't have to be, you know, if, if it's only once a month, you know, that's something. And that's, a lot of times you're going to get, you know, more traffic for that can, you know, continued in the months to come versus social media where you'll post once. And then after 72 hours, no one's going to see that post again. So um, blogging is just a great place to get people while they are in those planning phases. So answering mm -hmm. questions that your couples might have. I really love um, a tool. It's called answer the public. Uh, where you can search for questions. Like you can just put in a topic, maybe a location or a certain venue, and then see what kinds of questions particularly people are Googling surrounding that. Um, and then it gives you an opportunity to answer that and become sort of the uh, expert for them to go to. Excellent. So I guess that leads me into the sort of WordPress meets show it situation. I guess, first of all, if I've got a WordPress website, why would I consider moving to show it and eventually sort of having both, right? Having, having show it, but then having a WordPress blog. Why would I do that? Yeah. So the great thing about show it is it's really completely just changing the visuals of your website. But if you're already blogging on WordPress, they make it really easy for you to just take all those blog posts and the, all the blog content will still be there. All your SEO settings will still be there, but the way it looks is going to be designed in show it. Um, and so that's just, it's really easy for you to change the way it looks at any time. Um, you're able to have all the same functions. So search bar, categories, everything like you would on a WordPress blog. Um, but then the back end, if you're already used to blogging in WordPress, is going to be the same. You know, the way that you structure it, all the SEO settings. It still has the Yoast plugin, which if you don't have that, I really recommend that for making, just as a guideline for making sure your blogs are well SEO optimized. Um, so yeah, it, it makes it, they make it really easy. 
Amazing. And, and it is pretty easy to get it set up. I think they do they still help you do it if it's something that you, you know, you yes. set up your free account with show or well, mm-hmm. free account, I think it's paid now, but um, yeah. you reach out to support, don't you? Can you walk me through what people have to do in order to sort of make that happen? Right. So with Show It, there are three levels of plans. There's the uh, basic plan, which is with no blog. And then there is the basic plus blog, which is basically just a a basic blog. And it does include a couple of plugins. And that includes the Yoast plugin, a couple other basic plugins. If you have a lot of really advanced plugins you're wanting to add, so different kinds of blog integrations, or maybe you've been blogging for years and years and years, and you have tons of content that might be hard to move over, they have a third plan, which is the advanced uh, blog plan. plan. (laughs) They're all very affordable. Um, But if you are wanting to blog, you'll have to move to one of those second level, second or third level of tiers. Um, and then when you are ready to set it up, you'll just need to connect your domain and the show it support team is absolutely fantastic. I've always had great experiences with them um, and they make it really easy. You just reset, reach out. They have a chat support right in the back end of the builder and just tell them, hey, I'm ready to set up the WordPress blog um, and they'll do it for you. It usually takes 24 hours or less. Yeah, awesome. Can you share for me a um, success story where effective branding and web design has significantly impacted a wedding professional's business? Yes. So I worked with a a wedding client here in my home state, actually, in Kentucky, um, last year. And she's actually uh, increased her bookings quite a a bit since we redid her website. Um, She rebranded it to be more of her ideal client. Um, She was gave her an opportunity also to refresh her copy. Um, she's getting more inquiries from Google, which is incredible. Um, so yes, it had a, a huge impact on her business. Great. Now for those, for those who are kind of dabbling with show it themselves, I want to know where you recommend going for templates. Ah, that's a great question. So, uh, I really love Davy and Krista templates specifically for wedding photographers. Um, they do a great job. They also prioritize SEO when they build the templates, which is something that's really important to think about when you are choosing a template because there's a lot of things that go into the back end of building the template in terms of text hierarchy and where the text is placed, all kinds of things like that. Um, so making sure that it is someone that has prioritized that in the way they built the template. Um, theirs are very well designed. They're fantastic. I really love tonic templates as well. <laughs> um, and those are, they're just beautiful, beautifully designed and very strategic as well. Jen does a great job. And you can also find templates for show it on marketplaces like Etsy, Creative Market, those kind of sites as well. Uh, yes. There's plenty out there. And it, and you don't necessarily have to buy an entire website template, right? You can you can find on some of these platforms just a sales page or just a podcast page. I might have used one for mine. <laughs> yes, um, yes, that's fantastic. And and you know if you've if you've built your whole website but you want to add on the layout of a of a highly converting sales page, that could be a, a, a quick way to do it. Is to buy one, then you know adapt. Uh, you know, put all your branding and your fonts and everything on it and, and incorporate it into your existing site. Or you could just go to Laurel Vines and get her to build one from scratch, right? <laughs> That's always an option. I do also have a template about. customization service. A lot of people like that if they already have a template that they've picked out and they love it, but just the work of, you know, changing out all the branding and everything or if they're rebranding in the process, I have that as well. Uh, as an offer because a lot of people, um, you know, just the time that it does take to customize the template sometimes it's a lot easier to outsource and just making sure that it's it's still mobile optimized and SEO optimized. Yeah. So why don't you run through with me? What are your offers? How do you help people with their show at website? Yeah, so I, I really have just two main offers and that is we call it website in a week, which is template customization. Um, and that's where you bring a template or I have a suite of templates that you can choose from. Uh, and we basically just take that week. I get all of your branding. And if we're doing branding, we would do that uh, beforehand. Um, and I 
do your SEO work and everything. Um, and then you get me all of your copy images, everything. We have a kickoff call. And then in that one week, um, I customize the template uh, based on your branding and your copy. Um, and then you're able to review. Um, it comes with, I also include up to like three custom sections because a lot of times, you know, there's just a few things that won't quite fit into a template so we have to add a few custom customizations as well um yeah. and so may, i make sure that your crm um or your email provider anything that you're integrating with the website as well that that's in there and then that's working um and then you're ready to go and launched in a week amazing and, yeah and then we and then for if you're wanting to go the custom route i have a custom package and that is essentially everything it's branding seo um, and an eight-page uh, show website, um, and that's a little bit of a longer process, but if this is your first time branding or you're wanting to rebrand and you're wanting, and especially if your business is growing um, or you're adding on things like mentorship, um, usually that's a really great um, option. Amazing. Well, thanks, Laurel. Mm -hmm. I'm sure uh, there'll be plenty of mm -hmm. Wedding Academy and Wedding Empires people that are going to reach out to you because it's a one-stop shop, right? I need a new brand and you need a new website. May as well go to you. <laughs> All right. So if you want to get in contact with Laurel, her website is vineyardcreativeco.com. You can also find her on Instagram, send her a DM, vineyardcreative.co is her username. And thank you very much for joining me, Laurel. It's been a pleasure getting to know you. Uh, I'm looking forward to having you back. I think we need to dive a bit deeper on branding for wedding businesses. I think that's a topic that uh, you'd be really, really knowledgeable about. Uh, so thank you for joining us. Yes, thanks so much, Jack. You're welcome. All right, so if you've missed this episode on video live stream, make sure that you sign up for your free trial at pro.weddingempires.com where you can catch the next episode live and be there for the interview, ask questions and engage just like today. Uh, and to connect with the Wedding Academy, head to weddingacademyglobal.com. Thanks, Laurel. We'll speak soon. All right. Bye, Jack. Thank you. Thank you. Just ending the stream and stopping.